CataractCoach.com, recovering from misloaded IOLs. Remember, IOL complications are still the surgeon's fault. This looks like a routine case. There's a nice capsule rexus. We're inflating our capsule bag with our cohesive viscoelastic. It's a nice, good fill. And now we're handed the IOL, single piece acrylic lens, in this preloaded injector. And we start to deliver it. And we notice there's a lot of resistance. So I asked the scrub tech, who's a new scrub tech, and I said, did you put enough viscoelastic to lubricate it? She said, yes. Okay, so we're delivering it going very slowly, and we push it into the eye, and what is going on here? Now, the trailing haptic is all bunched up on top of the optic, and so this lens was misloaded in the injector, and as a result, it has distorted upon insertion. So now we'll get that leading haptic in the capture bag using the chopper, and the trailing haptic goes in two. Now, these lenses are pretty tough and nearly indestructible, so that looks pretty good. And so now we've got the lens in the capture bag. Let's take out the viscoelastic. So going behind the optic, removing viscoelastic. That looks good. Making sure we get it all out. Now I'm looking at the optic very carefully, and you can see there's some tiny stress fractures on the optic material from compression in the injector. And let's zoom in here and take a look at that. Now these are very tiny outside the visual axis, and it won't have a, a negative effect on the patient's vision. The patient will still see fine. But this is really important that we work with our scrub techs and make sure they're properly trained. Now, it's very important for our scrub techs to do this training ahead of time and be supervised by it. But remember, you as a surgeon, when that lens comes out of the injector, you have to be prepared for anything. So I always look at the haptics as they're coming out, make sure they're the correct orientation, the lens isn't flipped upside down, and then we just go slowly, um, little by little. So this looks great. We'll finish up the case here. You can see the case is otherwise totally normal. Patient had a beautiful visual outcome with no deleterious effects. So that looks great. I'm gonna seal up the incision. Let's go to the next case. Here's the next one. Again, pretty routine. So cataracts out, a little bit of a floppy iris. We're going to fill our caps or bag here with the cohesive viscoelastic. That's a nice, good fill. Very nice, beautiful rexus. And now let's get the lens. And so this time the scrub tech said, hey, doc, that leading haptic isn't quite folded over. And I said, okay, no problem. We'll keep that in mind. So as it comes out, I think, wait a minute, which way does it turn? Let's put the whole IOL in the AC. I want the haptics on top of the iris, because that's gonna allow me to get this in the correct orientation. But I don't wanna push it in the bag and have this haptic pulling on that thin posterior capsule. So I'd rather start it higher in the eye, in the anterior chamber on top of the iris. And that's gonna allow me to get those haptics in an appropriate position. And you can see this lens looks great. It unfolds completely. There's no optic um, damage or fracturing from the injection. It was just that leading haptic that was misoriented. And remember, we've talked about the 7L rule. That means when the first haptic comes in the eye, it should have the orientation of the number seven. And then the trailing haptic, when it goes in the eye, should have the orientation of a capital letter L. So 7L rule. First haptic comes out like a seven. Trailing haptic comes out like the capital L. That's the correct orientation. Of course, it's the reverse or anti-S. Remember, if the haptics look like the letter S in the eye, that may be S is for a silly or stupid mistake because that's likely going to be upside down. So we'll finish up the case here. just want to emphasize the point that you got to be prepared for anything. When we do cataract surgery, every case is unique. Why are we still so entertained in doing this surgery, even after tens of thousands of surgeries? Because of that variability. It's a beautiful surgery. It takes years to learn and a lifetime to master. Thanks for watching. Check out cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. So much great material. Way more than you'll find here on just the YouTube videos. If you really want to learn this good stuff, check out cataractcoach.com. Click on the link and subscribe to our daily email. It's totally free.